Hello guys, my name is Valkrishna Shivastava and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write Java code solution for question 8 of ISC 2025, Computer Science Sports Class 12th Specimen Paper, which is this question. So before we begin, it is a request to please, please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only 2 to 3 are subscribed. More than 95% of my audience not subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, please do subscribe to my channel. And also I teach coding in Hindi. So I have another YouTube channel code with BK Hindi where you can find all these tutorials in Hindi as well. So let's begin. So we have to write Java solution for question eight of ISC 2025 computer science board specimen paper. This is the question. Take a minute and give this a reading. Okay. So in this case, you have to complete the class LCM that has been defined to find the lowest common multiple of two integers. The data members and the functions are given and you have to code accordingly. Okay. So let's start first with the class name LCM. So class is uh, LCM and make sure that you keep the class name exactly same as mentioned in the question, right? Then you have data members n1, n2, small, large and lowercase l. All these are integers. Okay. So private int n1. Okay. Then you have n2 small large l. n2. What are the names of small and large? Large and sm. Large and sm. Okay. Again, making sure that you have the same names in your program as mentioned in the question paper. And then this lowercase l for storing the LCM. Okay. Then you have default constructor to initialize data member with legal initial values. So legal initial values for integers are going to be any integer value. Conventionally, we take it as zero. So I'm going to say public LCM. I keep all the data members private and all the constructors and member methods as public. So n1 is zero, n2 is zero, n2, sorry. Okay, then we have sm as zero, large as zero and l as zero, okay. And the next method is void except to accept n1 and n2 because large and small will be calculated based upon n1 and n2 and similarly LCM uh, lowercase l will be the LCM of n1 and l2. So the only input needed is n1 and n2. So public uh, void except okay uh, scanner to read from the user scanner 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 equal to new scanner system dot in. Okay, ask the user to enter the integer n1. Okay, let me make some space here as well. Okay, so n1 is scanner dot next int. Okay, and we can have a prompt message as well. Uh, enter n1. Let me make this uppercase e. Okay, similarly asking the user to enter the value of n2. n2 n2 and n2 okay also if you go back at the requirements it says that large stores the largest from m n1 and n2 okay and smallest stores the smallest of n1 and n2 and that is what we are going to update here okay after we update the values of n1 and n2 we update smallest and largest so update smallest and largest okay so if n1 is greater than n2 okay then uh, largest is n1 and smallest is n2 okay else if okay n1 is less than n2 okay you do large is n2 okay smallest is n1 okay and the else case the final case is when they are both equal okay so you can do either okay set large to n1 or so set small to n1 because they are both the same so you can simply do else and leave this part okay that is if n1 is greater than n2 then large is n1 small is n2 else if n1 is less than or equal to n2 then large is n2 and small is n1 okay so our accept method is done then comes the next part which is the tricky part in this question is you have to find the lcm of n1 and n2 and using recursive technique okay now there are a couple of core concepts involved that you should be knowing in order to solve this problem. If you're not aware of these two core concepts, then solving this problem at that very point will be almost impossible. Okay. Because you have to have an idea on how to approach this problem. Right. So what I mean to say is you have to find LCM of N1, N2. Okay. Using recursive technique. Okay. 
So there is no standard way to find uh, LCM of two integers using recursion, but there is a standard way to find HCF of two integers using recursion, which is called the Euclidean method. Okay. First thing you should know. Okay. This we can use in recursion. Okay. Second thing you need to know is a very elementary formula that we have read growing up over the years is HCF into LCM is product of two integers. Okay. That is, I have to find LCM, I can do product, okay, by L, uh, HCF, okay. So LCM of N1 and N2 will be N1 into N2, okay, by HCF of N1 and N2, okay. And this you can find recursively. We just plug this into this formula to find the LCM and we can use this to find, you can use recursion to find HCF. So what is Euclidean method? So this is the Euclidean algorithm. This is very standard. Okay, let me see if I can find the code. Yeah. So if you want to find the HCF is another name for GCD greatest common divisor. So HCF of A and, A and B is as long as B is not equal to zero, you set temporary to B, B is A mod B and A is T return A. This basically is the implementation of this part okay that if you are given two numbers two integers so hcf of two integers will be the same as when you replace the larger integer by the difference of the two integers okay and you keep doing this as long as both the integers does not become equal that is what is the hcf of the two numbers okay what i mean by this is for example if i have to find say hcf of say uh, 24 and 12 okay we know 12 is the hcf so i replace the larger number by difference of the two so 24 is replaced by the difference of the two 12 remains the same so this is 12 and 12 now they become equal so hcf is 12 okay very straightforward example let us take 24 and 6 the larger number is replaced by the difference so 24 minus 6 instead of 24 and 6 so 18 and 6 again larger number replaced by the difference of the two so 18 minus 6 by, uh, and the other number is 6, so 12 and 6. Again, larger number replaced by the difference of 2, so 6 and 6. Okay, let me take another example, 5 and 11. Okay, replace larger by the difference, okay, 5 and 6. Replace larger by the difference, 6 minus 5 is 1. Okay, so 5 and 1. Okay, replace larger, larger by the distance, uh, difference, so 5 minus 1 and 1, so 4 and 1. Then again, 3 and 1. Then again, two and one, and then finally one and one. So HCF is one in this case. And this is what is the Euclidean algorithm is based upon. Okay. You should be knowing this before you solve this problem. And that's why they have given you two variables to store sm largest and smallest. Okay. So that you can replace the larger by the difference of the two. So if N1 and N2 are these two, so this will be the larger and this will be the smaller. Okay, and they will be updated till large and small become equal. Similarly, if this is the larger, this is the smaller, these will be updated this, uh, till they become equal. Okay, again, if this is the larger and this is the smaller, this will be updated they be, they'll be, till they become equal. All right, and then we plug the HCF, okay, either picking up the larger or the smaller because they'll be equal to plug into this formula to return the LCM. All right, so going back to the code, okay, we have to complete this method public int lcm public int get lcm right get lcm keeping the name of the method exactly the same if you mess up the name of the method it depends upon the examiner if he or she wishes to deduct your marks or not but you should not give him, give the examiner any chance to deduct your marks keep the name exactly the same all right using recursive techniques so uh, if uh, the uh, smaller and the larger uh, values are equal okay that is the case where we have found the HCF which I explained here okay they both become equal so you pick either which is the HCF so you can simply return if SM is equal to large okay so you, you can return LCM which is equal to N1 into N2 divided by either SM or large okay because they are both equal okay uh, we have found the HCF, okay, 
विच इज इक्वल टू एस एम इक्वल टू लेकिन एल्स न स्मॉल एंड लार्ज आर नॉट द सेम सो वॉट वी डू वी रिप्लेस द लार्जर वन बाय द डिफरेंस ऑफ द टू सो इफ लार्ज इज ग्रेटर देन एस एम ओके सिंस द रोल्स आर गोइंग टू बी रिप्लेस सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ लार्ज विथ दिस ओके देन लार्ज बिकम सिक्स सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विथ टू वेरिएबल्स लार्ज एंड सिक्स वे लार्ज स्टोर्स द लार्जर वैल्यू बट दे विल दे माइड बी अ केस वे दिस वेरिएबल एस एम स्टोर्स द लार्जर वैल्यू ओके बिकॉज दिस इज द फर्स्ट आइट्रेशन ओके वे लार्ज इज एलेवन स्मॉल इज फाइव दिस इज द सेकंड आइट्रेशन सेकंड रिकर्स इफ कॉल वे लार्ज इज सिक्स स्मॉल इज फाइव दिस इज द थर्ड रिकर्स इफ कॉल देन इट बिकम्स फोर वन देन थ्री वन देन टू वन एंड देन वन वन ओके सो द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ लार्ज एंड स्मॉल वेरिएबल्स माइड चेंज ओके द वेरिएबल नेम्स आर लार्ज एंड स्मॉल जस्ट टू स्टार्ट विद द लार्जर एंड द स्मॉलर वैल्यू फ्रॉम एन वन एन एन टू द वे वी आर डूइंग इन दीज थ्री केसेस ओके राइट ओके सो इफ लार्ज इज ग्रेटर देन एस एम देन द लार्जर वैल्यू इज रिप्लेस बाई डिफरेंस सो एल से इन डिफरेंस इज लार्ज माइनस एस एम ओके देन आई से लार्जर इज द डिफरेंस एंड स्मॉलर रिमेन्स द सेम ओके यू क्रिएट डिफरेंस Else, so this else part will be when smaller is less than large because we have already taken the case of equality. Okay, when you compare two integers, there are three possible cases: less than, greater than, equal to. We have already considered equal to. We have already considered greater than. This will be less than. So, else if uh, large is S M is the larger value, the larger than. Okay, or you can say, simply say S M is greater than large. Okay, so what we do in this case? Difference is now S M minus large. Okay, and you replace S M with the difference. Okay, and then you return it and see. Okay, so you replace the larger number with the difference of the two, and then you call this function again. All right. So if this condition is reached, that is, we have found the LCM, then the LCM will be returned, or the same process is going to be repeated again, where the larger value is replaced by the difference. Again, this LCM is called. If the values become equal, small and large, then we return the LCM again. The same process continues the way you, I have explained here. Okay. Right. So this is your get LCM method, and this is, I felt this is a really tricky question because uh, you would not be thinking of this in the very first instant. right this is the this is a good question right and you should be knowing these two things you should definitely be knowing how euclidean method works and about this formula all right okay And then the last is void display so a uh, public void display okay so we have to uh print numbers n1 n2 and then lc okay and that's why you see we could have worked with n1 and n2 as well okay because they they are already two variables right But but if you use n one and n two in place of l and s, the values of n one and n two change. We lose the original values, and if we lose the original values, there is there is no way we can get back the original values. Okay, so that's why they don't change n one and n two because you will be needing them into in the display method. Okay, I'll say this out. N one is plus n one. I say n two is l n two and LCM is lower case L, all right. And oh, I have to also store the LCM, right? So I call get LCM, all right. In the requirement, it says to print the numbers, okay. But you also have to call this method, okay, get LCM because that is what is returning the LCM, right? Because this is just using recursion. We are updating L over here, which is storing the LCM, okay. All right. So our class is done. do we have to write a main we have to write a main method okay so public static void main string js okay so class lcm lcm equal to new lcm okay lcm dot accept and lcm dot display okay because this get lcm function is called by this display method okay All right. Let us run this for our cases. So we took the cases for twenty four and twelve. Twenty four and twelve. 
सो एल सी एम इज ट्वेंटी फोर लो इस कॉमन मल्टीपल इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेल्व वन जो ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फोर वन जो ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेल्व टू जो ट्वेंटी फोर ओके देन वी रन दिस अगेन ओके वी कैन एड चेंज इन लाइन हेयर फॉर बेटर क्लैरिटी वी से ट्वेंटी फोर एंड सिक्स सो अगेन एल सी एम इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर ओके देन वी Five and eleven LCM is fifty-five. Okay, let us take another case, a uh, couple of more cases. Say three and uh, say fifteen. So again, this is going to be fifteen. Uh, let's take uh, say four and six. Okay, so four and six have LCM as twelve. Okay, so four and six has LCM as twelve. Then we can have another case. Say two prime numbers seven and uh, say thirteen, so ninety one. Okay, so seven and thirteen will be ninety one. We can do thirteen and seven, and you'll still get the same. Okay, all right. If you do one and one, LCM is one. Okay, you one and hundred, LCM is hundred. Okay, so this was the solution to question eight of ISC twenty twenty five Computer Science Boards Specimen Paper. All right. we were able to complete all the requirements okay so i hope you like this video and this was helpful so if there is any doubt there is a part you do not understand please let me know in the comments i always try to answer all your comments and you can also let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or if the concept you want to discuss and other questions of isc 2025 computer science board specimen paper are also solved on this channel and they are solved in hindi as well on my code with bk hindi channel you can check out the links of the videos in the description of this video So please like this video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching